Good morning, everyone. Welcome back to Coffee and Headlines, our morning get-together live here on Facebook, where we <clears throat> clear our throat, where we gather information from our city, state, and country news sources, where we gather information from you, uh, your questions, your ideas, your comments, your suggestions, and we combine all this information to put it to good use as a community of English-speaking locals living here in Puerto Vallarta. Today is Friday, <clears throat> December 1st. I'm sorry for the throat clearing, but it is that time of the year. It is that time of the day. You may have noticed a poll appeared on your screen. Is it okay to pet a stranger's dog without permission? The reason that poll is there, because once again, I've become fascinated with something that seems to be uh, drawing attention north of the border. We'll get into details about that in a second. But first, I'd like to welcome you, as always, to Coffee and Headlines, whether you are watching for the first time or whether you've been watching for a while. Of course, if you're watching for the first time, we would love to give you a nice little welcome. So if you'd like, you can just write the word new in your comment. We'll give you a nice little welcome. And of course, if you are um, if you have something really important or something that you wish to share with everybody, we don't want to miss that. So it helps a great deal if you add a capital letter Q at the beginning of your comment and we'll be so happy to take a look at it later on in the broadcast. For a change today, we do have a number of interesting and important bits of news. So I'm going to get started with those by pushing a couple of buttons, and here we go. So we have good news. Governor Alfaro was in town yesterday for several events, including a ribbon-cutting ceremony at the Los Muertos Pier. Why cutting ribbons at Los Muertos Pier? Well, a complete overhaul by the municipal government was just completed at the pier at a tune of 12.5 million pesos made available from state funds. According to the news note, a brand new lighting system was installed and all joints in the structure were reinforced after removing rust that had accumulated through the years and it should look beautiful at night or at least we hope it does. I can't wait to see photographs of the of the newly improved Los Muertos Pier, or maybe we'll take a walk in, uh, in, in the next few days. Um, let's see. <clears throat> Moving right along, a visit with the governor would, could, could not be complete or would not be complete without updates and promises about other regional projects, including the new Tomatlan Airport, which according to Alfaro, will begin operating before the end of next year as a new international airport. This means that the airport will not operate just as a landing strip as previously announced. It will be actually run 
by the federal government so that any type of aircraft can land there, bringing many benefits and much needed connectivity to the Costa Alegre region of our state. What else can we expect? Well, Secretary of Mobility Diego Monraz was also in town, and he held a press conference where he announced something that we already knew. <clears throat> New city buses are coming. What did we learn from him this time around? We learned that there are 23 new buses coming to Puerto Vallarta. So maybe in the next press conference, we will learn the actual date in which these buses are arriving. It is unclear. And what about the Medina Asensio northbound lateral reconstruction project, which has been trickling inch by inch, centimeter by centimeter? Well, Governor Alfaro stated that it will be completed before the end of his term in 2024, which again, we already knew. But start placing your bets. You know, it may be completed by the end of 24, uh, 2024, or it may not. Governor Alfaro, and this was so funny, Governor Alfaro also stated that there will not be much progress made during the month of December to avoid affecting tourists and locals. <clears throat> and that, of course, makes perfect sense because if something is broken, why not take our time fixing it so that it doesn't affect the population? That deserved one of these. Open Table, an online platform for reserving seating at restaurants worldwide, is now in the business of awarding restaurants based on reservation numbers and reviews. They recently presented the 50 best restaurants in Mexico with an award for this year, the 50 best restaurants in 2023. And among them, six local restaurants received a nod. I'm going to name them now. It was Café des Artistes, Hacienda San Ángel, La Capela, The Iguana Restaurant and Tequila Bar, Ocean Grill, and Tintoque. And as an aside, I will mention that many local restaurants simply choose not to work with Open Table because of the fees that they charge for reservation. So as always, take this poll with a grain of salt. Last but not least, once again, the United States Department of Justice has announced, <clears throat> sorry, has announced the freezing of foreign assets belonging to a number of Puerto Vallarta entities linked with uh, timeshare frauds associated with the Nueva Generación cartel. The article goes as far as uh, outlining the methodology followed by the fraudulent entities to achieve their goal. So if you are shopping for a timeshare, you may want to look into this with more detail. But first, let us take a look at our weather forecast with some detail just to see what our snarky weatherman has to say for today. 26 degrees right now. Humidity is at 62% and Oh dear, I will really miss 15-time Olympic gold medalist George Santos. <clears throat> Has he been kicked out? I'm not sure. But what I can tell you is that today we can expect a humid day with mostly cloudy skies, a high of 29 and a low of 20. Then tomorrow, Saturday, will be a humid day with mostly cloudy skies throughout the day, a high of 28 and a low of 20. And then Sunday will be a humid day with mostly cloudy skies throughout the day with a high of 29 and a low of 21. Pat, you are ahead of me. I noticed that Pat just placed a comment on the processions because the processions are here. Today is December 1st which means it is the first day of Guadalupe processions in downtown Puerto Vallarta. And to give you an idea of what to expect, let me show you to... Okay, somebody's selling things out there and I hope you can hear me over the, the megaphone. Um, I'll give you a sense as to what you can expect today. The first procession was at 6.30 in the morning by a company called Trip Vallarta. 
this is the only early morning procession that took place today, then the rest of the associations on this list will make their procession starting at 5, 10 p.m. and continue until 10, 20 p.m. That's a lot of people uh, doing their pilgrimage today, but this is what you can expect and at what time of day and for the next 11 days. In a nutshell, when it comes to processions, um, it makes sense to go check them out in the evening because, you know, it's a little dark and the lights and the candles look pretty, and that's when the action is actually taking place. And this brings us to <clears throat> this topic, and let me take a quick look at the poll and see where you stand. 87% of you say that it is not okay to pet a stranger's dog without permission. Only 13% of you say it is okay. Um, again, this is not directly <clears throat> related with Puerto Vallarta, but apparently it has become a topic of much debate. Uh, apparently somebody posted on the posted the question on X, formerly known as Twitter, sparking a major discussion. Feel free to share your opinion in your comments, or feel free to take a look at the article, which was, of course, written in English, and you can find in the show notes as usual. Let's take a look at your comments. Ah, da -da -da -da. Lots of good mornings. Lots of good mornings. Uh, there's a Q morning poll. Yes, morning poll indeed. Uh, let's see what else we have. Luisa says the week went by so fast. This week had me confused all through the week because I had social events in days in which I usually don't go out. So it was weird, but it is Friday all day long. And that is a good thing. Uh, let's see. Your poll question is loaded question. I will pet a dog if it comes up to me and wants to be pet. I will not pet a dog that is sitting by its owner without permission. That's fair, but I don't think the question is loaded. It's just a simple question. Of course, if a wild animal or an animal that is unleashed and comes to you and looks happy to come to you, then you are petting the dog without consent. But, you know, it's neither here nor there. Uh, let's see. Betsy says, I said yes to the poll because my dog invites people to pet her. If I had a dog, a not so friendly dog, I'd have said no. I think for me, the underlying issue here is do we take the time to ask for permission? You know? Uh, and I do, I do, even if the dog seems happy to see me, if obviously if a dog comes running at me without a leash and the dog seems to be happy, um, you know, I, I welcome the opportunity, but if the dog looks fierce and is running towards me, you know, I will start running away from the dog like a wild woman. I mean, who wouldn't? Ah, dear. Kathy and I admire dogs from afar and only pet them if their owners indicate that it is okay. However, people will hand puppies to Kathy so she gets lots of puppy kisses and petting. The power of the wheelchair. That is fascinating. Thank you for sharing that, Dan. Uh, let's see. Gina says, open table. Ugh. See, that's the thing, um, you know, I was happy to report the results of Open Table, but again, it's worthy to mention that some restaurants just don't get along with Open Table because every time you reserve through Open Table, you have to pay a fee. So it is great to be on Open Table because you are on a very long and well cured, curated list of restaurants on any given city, but every time somebody makes a reservation through open table the restaurant loses a little bit of income uh chris ray says do you know anything about the procession to the church of our lady of guadalupe please watch yesterday's broadcast chris we talked about that in depth i think it was yesterday's broadcast or the day before kindly visit our website and you will find when we discuss this 
Uh, let's see. Boom, boom, boom. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Oh, Santos is out this morning. Oh, well. You know, it is what it is. Uh, thank you for, for bringing me up to speed. Gina says, I have a craving and want to pop up over to Lorena's. Gina, I would go with you in a heartbeat, but I have so many things to do today. Lorena's is a great uh, Mexican style senaduria, not far from Whiskey Kitchen and not far from my home. It is a great restaurant. If you haven't tried it, you should check it out. I will do uh, a walk around at Lorena's at some point because it is really a sweet little operation. Albert contributes to the conversation. I always ask the owner and if okay, approach the dog from low. So many rescues now. So many rescues now. There are a lot of testy dogs. It's funny because maybe this is a cat related behavior. I am always in the habit of reaching out with my hand slowly, you know, to make sure that the dog can smell me first and not like go at at, at the dog with too much enthusiasm because we don't want dogs to think that they're about to be attacked. So if the dog sniffs me and the dog says, okay, you smell good, then I approach. Um, and Gina says, at Whiskey Kitchen, you can pet Harry and Gracie Ray. If you haven't met Gina's new puppy, Gracie Ray, she is absolutely adorable. And uh, then, ba -dum -bum -bim -bum, I think we are to the end. Carmen says, hola, you never know how a dog will react. It is nice to ask at least. Carmen, how are things going at your end? If you're going to have any fun secret dinners at Oculta for, for the holidays, please let us know. We're always happy to uh, share your wonderful project with our viewers. And this brings us to the end of today's broadcast. As always, I thank you for your company, for your comments. Um, it's not a right or wrong. It is not about agreeing or disagreeing. It's just to, about being mindful of the things that are going on out there. And what's going on out there? Well, the weekend is upon us. There are pilgrimages and processions to go to there are all kinds of things that we've announced. So have a wonderful weekend. We'll be back here tomorrow, of course. No pre-recorded anything. I'll be here. So it'll be great to see you. And if not tomorrow, sometime in the near future. Have a great day.